Hi guys. I wanted to give everybody a little update. My African violet is all pushed out. I thought there was something wrong with the buds, but this one is looking nice. It's kind of like a, um, and they were blooming. She was blooming when I got her. But, um, They'll straighten out. Plus, I've got another bud right here. Wow, I, I hope you guys can see because it is really sunny bright today. So that is my little African Violet pushing out her first blooms that she gave to me. And my little Oncinium Twinkle has all three of her little buds opened. I just think she is so adorable. She's so little. But she's finally all opened up. All three of them. <laughs> Took forever for her to spike out and bud and then wait and wait and wait for the buds to open. Oh my. And, um, this little booger, I am getting ready to, I'm going to go ahead and pot her up because she's doing, she is doing pretty good. She needs a little more water. Matter of fact, I might even do that today. But I've got a new growth on, uh, I think this is my... Yeah, that's my Sherry Baby Masaki. But I've got a new growth on her. That took forever, it seemed like, for her to spit that out. Um, my uh, Jessie Eye, she's in winter rest, but so far I haven't really seen... It, it's been so warm here. Um, this is like day three, where it has just been like in the 60s and crazy, crazy weather. But I liked it because I had some repotting to do, and that's what I've been doing. There is my done file, and I've been rearranging a lot of my plants trying to get them resituated for winter um i still think she has a spike coming out of the top of her you can just well let me see if i can show you maybe if i set her let's see I swear that is something coming. And she had this hair spike when I got her. But you can still see something right in there too. But I think she's getting ready to... Uh, I mean you can see it a lot better in person. But she definitely has a spike coming out of there. I am so excited. She is the Bereno Sunday and she is red. She will have red flowers on her. Um, move it back like that. Um, let's see. My, my Vanda is getting a drink. She's greening up She's been in there for a couple of hours, but I usually sit her, let her sit for quite a long time. I've been soaking her like maybe every other day. Um, some days when it's drier, I was doing her every day, but <clears throat> the last three days since it's been really warm, um, I have been soaking her every day. And she's been getting just a little bit of feed. So, um, 
Yeah, my temperature in the house, of course, this is sitting right in the sun. Usually I have this sitting up here. I'm sure that will change because I know it's not 79 degrees in the house. But anyways, um, I repotted my Miltoniopsis. And she still has her new growth coming out right there. Right here. And her new house is up here. Um, I put the shelf up. I got so tired of having everything crammed. And I've got this shelf which I love. My Vanda goes up there to the left. But um, I just found a shelf that I think I'm going to order for over here in this corner. I want to get rid of, that was actually my back porch glass top table. And we moved it in here so I could put my orchids on it. And But I don't like it. I mean, I love it, but I don't like it for my plants. I want something, I want a shelf. And what I found is very similar to this. I think it's a little wider and a little taller. Five tier shelf. And I am going to totally be loving that. But anyways, um, I wanted to show you. I have a lot of root growth. Not going to be able to see much down in there. I have... Um, Some new nubs coming on up here. My Dendrobium nobili is in his winter rest. Um, I'm not going full bore though because I, I'm i kind of confused. I don't really know. I think he's full, done growing. Um, this was just a cutting from somebody else's uh, nobly that I got that they pieced out. So I don't know. I have no clue. But I know she's supposed to be in a winter rest. But I'm being kind of iffy. Well, and I wanted to show you this. Let's see if I can do it this way. Look at the buds on those spikes. Now I had her down here. And I wanted her spikes to kind of go down. So I moved her up and I noticed her spikes are moving down just a little. But she's got lots of buds on her. That's off secondary and she's got another new another new one right there okay now I'm going to take you over here oh look at my um, those are my paper whites that's the white one and then that is the yellow one and then my amarillo my red lion she's got her second stock. Look how much taller this one got than the first one. I had to tape her up. She's was starting to bend over, but you can even see how much, look how much taller her leaves are got, have gotten. Okay. But anyways, let's go over. I got more stuff I want to show you. This is my apple blossom amarillo that I just got, I think last week. But you can see her color through that bulb. But anyways. Um, I've got spikes on this fowl. She's got, well, secondary. She's got one on each one. Oh, actually, I just felt that feels like one too. And then there's one on this stalk. I got secondary spikes coming out of here and here on this bow and then this one that my son got me her little bloom her, her little bud still has not bloomed but she's got 
more blooms oops right there that hasn't come out one there and that one looks like it's dried up but look she's got a new spike there one there one here and this one looks like it's starting to pop out I just noticed that today and I thought there was another one on her maybe not maybe not but she's doing real good she really took to water culture I I was just gonna go ahead and you know pot her up but she's really liking it along with these other this spell here it's still not doing anything um, as far as the secondary but she's got new root. Um, she's looking pretty good. I see some white fluff mold on there. I'm going to have to get out of there and rinse her out. But she does have new roots. My other fowl. My little beat up girl that I got. Look. Oh shoot, you can't see right there another secondary spike on the branching part so she's gonna branch out for me again and I don't know what color she was um, she was not in spike when I got her not that I remember but um, my new fern I still gotta repot her But yeah, I got lots of spikes coming out on, well, all these styles except for her. I'll have secondary spikes coming. And then hold on a minute and I'm going to take you in my other area. Okay, I had to show you my pretty deer. My husband and I just rewired her. She hasn't gone back outside yet, but she's going. We put blue lights on her. I you probably can't really tell what they're blue lights, but he got her for me last year for Christmas. Okay, now I rearranged the top of my turtle tank. <laughs> There's my turtle. Um, I put a board up back here because I was, I'm too short. But anyways, I've got all kinds of new, new growths on all of my fowls up here. Um, this one has a secondary spike getting ready. I repotted her. She was on water culture. And she was not doing too good. So I took her out. This one here has a new leaf. She's got new roots. And possibly a spike back here. But I'm not positive yet. I think it's a root. But... Uh, <coughs> Both of my cantleos are still hanging in. I've got, look at her, look at her growth. Look at her two growths. Now this one has gotten, let me set her down. This one has gotten a lot bigger. And this one's just stayed kind of teeny tiny, but that is the best progress that I've had with her so far. Since I put her over into the moss, um, she's been doing a lot better. And then this fowl back here, she's got all kinds of new root, see? And my Zygo's still hanging on. My Vanda is still hanging on as far as I know. She looks okay. I moved my Oncidium. Um, this is uh, Howard's Dream. And I just have not had a lot of luck with this. So I decided to put her, I repotted her, and I put her in here under the light. And my Kikis, I repotted them. I actually have uh, a new growth on this. And these two lost their leaves, but they still do have roots, or they did when I potted them. 
And this one has a new growth. This is off my uh, Dendrobium kingianum, the purple. And, or no, no, this one is not the Dendrobium kingianum. This is a, well, that's not the right tag. I cannot remember. I'd have to get back in my notes and look. I need to make her a tag. But these two are the King Annums, the purple, that I have in my other room. And then this was a start from... It might have been a white one, but I can't remember. Okay, let's go in here. I want to show you what I've been doing in here. I've been working hard. I rearranged a bunch of stuff in here. And let me get back just a little... I made uh, some new shelving for in here. I don't know if you guys, how well you can see because it is so bright. But I did, um, I just rearranged some stuff, put that shelf in. I put my baby violets in here because um, that light, or underneath the light and we're above my turtle tank, it was just way too warm in there because I've got heat, I've got lights for the turtle tank, I've got a light above for my flowers. So I moved them in here and I opened them up during the day and then I just shut this little flap do at night to keep them a little warmer. It don't really get cold in here, but I just watered them. I, I've got to dump that out. But I moved my asparagus fern up here because she was not doing too good up there. I've moved my aloe there. Um, at my macrame stand that I used to make do my macrame. Um, it was totally in the way. So I just I put it over here for now and I hug a plant on it. <laughs> Yay! My foxtail fern got moved up. And now I have oh, I repotted my um Epidendrum. I separated into two pots. The other one's back there. The other one's there. And I put, see the little shelf I made? I brought this board. Now this here board I brought up. And then I brought this other board up and set it up. So I've got my, my Dendrobium kingiana is back here hanging. She's on her winter rest. Uh, my cat, or I mean my catacetum. No. Oh my god. Cymbidium. I'll get it right. Too many C's. She's still doing good. Um, I told you guys last time I had problems with scale with her. But I got it all. Thank god. But I've got my little dendrobium I brought her in. She's not been looking too good. I don't know what her... I dropped her, like, twice. <sighs> so, she's been kind of not feeling good, but she's still doing all right. And the cat Leah I brought in. I got my other dendrobium hanging up here. My new Phoenicia Pocata. My new Christmas cactus, my pink one. Oh, and look at my... I have a little protrusion. Oop. I'm too short and it's hard to see what I'm filming. But she's getting... This is my red and yellow tulip. She's the only one that's coming up. I really didn't think it would work because I didn't give them a cold snap. But... And then I've got my, my VLC moved in here. And my other cat, Leah, I got her moved in here for the winter. Um, and then in the summertime, I have the shears that I can pull. Um, I've been keeping an eye on... Because like I said, it has been really warm and sunny here. Um, this plant is still doing okay. She's still got blooms on her. That is the... 
Where's your tag at, baby? There you are. Cyclamen. I knew that. I just couldn't think of it. And this here, <clears throat> Phalaenopsis. Oops, is stuck to the other one at the moment. But, uh, she's doing pretty good. She's got a lot of new <clears throat> root growth. And there's one down there. And I think those are roots. I don't think they're spikes. But that's okay. That's okay. I think that was, yeah, this is my white fowl. She's the one. I almost lost her. I almost lost her. So she's doing real good. She's got a pretty new leaf. And this one here, um, she's getting ready to drop this here leaf. But uh, she's got new root growth in there, see? And on this side here too. Let me put her down. I cannot. I am sorry guys. I suck, really suck at videoing. But look at all her new, look at all her new root growth. I'll tell you, this moss just really, really helps. Now, I did take her out, and I put some bark in her. Just a little. And, uh, then put her right back in to the moss. Because that's what she likes. So, that's progress with her. That was the new leaf that she's growed while I had her. So, that old funky one is, is going to fall off. And this one is yellowing also. But, um, kind of worrying though because I'm not seeing a new leaf. That's just, uh, don't freak out. It's not nothing. I have birds, so I get a lot of bird feathers, which makes me freak out a lot. But... I'm not seeing a new leaf, so I'm kind of worried, you know, as to why now she's losing this one and getting ready to lose that one. I know she's working on her roots right now, but she's going to be looking awful funny with only one leaf. Wouldn't be the first time. So that is what I have been up to. Um, moving some plants around. I have some new plants coming that I just ordered. Yes, you heard me right. <laughs> I ordered um, another den fowl. She would be a beautiful purple and yellow. I can't remember her name. I'd have to go in and look on the computer. But um, I ordered a five pack of oncidiums. I just ordered those today. They're all different kind of oncidiums and they're all and spike. Um, I ordered a huge uh, cymbidium that's in either, well he said he had one gallon containers and five gallon containers. I don't know what I'm getting but I'm hoping I can do the split. And uh, I will be getting her and I ordered um, a brass cebola. and I ordered what was the other thing I ordered from that lady um, geez I can't remember now but I got plants coming like crazy we've had this warm spot so I repotted her she needed to be in a bigger pot I took her in the shower and watered her the other day and, uh, oh my god, her roots were coming out of the bottom of the little pot. She was in, well, there, it's back there. But I have all my plant stuff underneath this table. But, um, oh my god, her roots were coming out and she was losing leaves. See, there's another one. But that's okay, she's supposed to do that. Um... So I repotted her, got her into a nice big pot. I was going to wait till spring, but uh, there was no way I could wait. She needed to come out of that pot. So with the warm days, that was a great time to do it. And that's what I've been doing. I've been rearranging, I've been fussing with everything. 
and I've still got some work to do in here and I've got new plants coming I think my uh, one of my plants will be here tomorrow the other ones are supposed to be here on Friday so we will see but I've got plenty of room um, I can move a couple plants if I need to, but I've got more room in the other room also. So that's my update. I wanted to show you guys all my spikes uh, and my new secondary spikes coming out. Um, I've been real excited. I just spotted them like a couple of days ago, so I was real happy about that. And um, to tell you about my new orchids I got coming, and I'm real, real excited about that. And uh, I'm going to sign off and I'll talk to you later. I'll show you guys my new orchids when they get here. Bye for now. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the other plant that I got. Isn't she beautiful? It's a Lelia Preparata. A variation of Schustenaria. She is coming on a wooden slap basket. Isn't she gorgeous? My Lelia. I love the Lelia cats. Okay. Bye. Okay, guys. Here's the dendrobium that I ordered. She is a Verana Sunshine. Isn't she gorgeous? I love that color. And she is a large orchid. Like I said, I'm not doing ceilings no more. But I wanted to show you her. I'm so excited. I can't wait till all my orchids get here this week. Okay, I promise this is the last time. Bye-bye. <laughs>